All right, guys, good morning. Today, I want to continue our assault on genetic determinism, all right? And I wanna talk about kind of three uh, large philosophical constructs that we have in healthcare as a whole, um, and then obviously specifically chiropractic, okay? So <clears throat> everyone has heard of uh, things that are holistic, right? Holism as a concept. Uh, obviously, I talked about vitalism yesterday uh, at our meeting, and obviously the, the third is uh, reductionism, okay? So let me start with reductionism. Reductionism, I want you to think of more of like classical Western medicine, all right? So reductionism is the idea that everything in biology, everything in the life sciences can be explained by reducing it to physics and chemistry, right? That everything can be explained all right uh, uh, through through the through the laws of nature that we hold true okay the second one is holism okay holism is the notion that uh, we are greater than the sum of our parts right that to really understand and to help uh, or, or to really understand how nature works right we have to look at the whole rather than just individual systems or individual physics and chemistry chemical reactions that sort of thing Okay, um, and then there's vitalism, and vitalism is totally different than both of these guys because the idea of vitalism is that there exists a force in nature that allows or even causes an organism to defy the laws of physics and chemistry. Okay, um, and vitalism is something that very few other healing professions uh, recognize, and certainly none of them really honor the way chiropractic does. Um, but this is very evident in the idea of innate intelligence, right? Your body and the idea that your body innately wants to grow and thrive, right? It's not simply a reproduction of a species, right? It's that regardless of what you do in your life, that <clears throat> your brain and your body want to continue allowing you to progress and survive and fight against the forces of uh, physics and chemistry that we know tend to lead towards disorganization and uh, um, and destruction. Right? That's entropy. We've used that. Um, those, you, we've used that term in the past in our education. Right? So for you docs that uh, can explain that to the CAs, please go into that a little bit uh, and use that in your discussions today. But break those three those three things down uh, for people so that they can understand how and why we are different and why vitalism is such an important piece of their continued improvement and uh, and the driving force of their life all right have a great day guys